just out here chasing my dreams, girl. Yo guys, what is going on? Real Sykes here on another phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal day and something good. It wasn't materials, wasn't checks, wasn't cars, wasn't clothes, or any part of success. It was you, and without that in my life, I'm depressed. Well guys, what is going on? Real Sykes here on another phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal day and something that I want to show you guys today is the new title of day 12. Unfortunately guys, I'm not going to show you the tutorial world just yet. I'm going to show you guys some of the things that are in the world, um, such as the new blocks and things like that. And then at the end of the video, I'll take you guys to the new tutorial world and uh, we'll see what it looks like there. Anyway, let's go ahead and load up the Flatland world, the world that I use to make thumbnails for you guys. And uh, if you guys don't know what thumbnails are, simply go to my channel and I view them there. <laughs> Look at all the mobs right there. If you guys play on a hard difficulty, um, the mobs will break down wooden doors. I don't know about iron, but anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and look at some of the new blocks. We have jungle wood, which is really awesome for wall designs, uh, period. Um, I'm really excited for that. I have some really awesome ideas planned for my house and wall designs and things like that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the jungle wood. There's just endless amounts of things you can do with the new blocks. Like I said, I'm really excited. This is probably one of the coolest updates yet, other than um, creative mode itself. But these are this is really awesome. I'm really excited for building and things like that. And I hope you guys uh, can't wait for the next uh, a couple episodes this coming up week. Anyway, that's pretty much all the blocks. I mean, you have chiseled stone brick right here, and they also raise the uh, height limit. So let's go ahead and build up. <laughs> We'll see how far we can freaking go up. I think it's 256 blocks. I think it's how high you can go. So we'll see. And this is really awesome if you guys play creative and you guys want to do really tall, like, you know, tall ass, you know, uh, towers, things like that. You guys can already tell this is way past the world limit. This is crazy huge. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's going past the clouds. This is huge. <laughs> you guys can pretty much see the whole world of all the thumbnails that I've made so far. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is crazy. Why do you guys, if you guys are ever going to raise, like if you guys do worlds like this and you make buildings that go to the sky limit, please let me know. I really want to see what you're doing uh, that you need that high of a sky limit to make something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and clear inventory one more time. That's pretty much everything that's in that. You can only get chiseled stone brick, unfortunately, and creative. Maybe in the future, you can get it in survival. Anyway, we got mob heads. I'm really like excited for this. This is really awesome. Maybe we can do like a little store of all the people we killed. Every time you kill somebody, you can place their head in there. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, depending on whatever way you're looking at a block is how it plays, it's pretty much essentially like the sign physics. If you place it looking this way, it uh, point you at this way. Hopefully it makes sense. You place it right in front of the block, it'll be looking at you, and uh, so on and so forth. And there you go. Really awesome. And then last, but not least, you guys, is the freaking corner stairs. So, look at this. I'm really excited for this. This is really awesome. Right here. Hang on. No, we messed it up. Look at this. That is so awesome. That's amazing for wall designs. That's amazing, period. Because if you want to, like, you know, do like a little bitty stoop. Hey, actually, I, I did something like that over here. See how they're not connected? But now when I do it. Look at that. That's crazy awesome, you guys. And then you can make it look 10 times better. See, that looks better than that. That was before corner stairs were integrated, and that's with them. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back. This is a little design that I was working on, maybe, that I was going to do, like, for surrounding my house. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the update, right, guys? Anyway, we have upside-down stairs. Unfortunately, me working with upside-down stairs is a pain in the butt, but if you have a block above the stair, you just place it like that. And then we'll go ahead and do this real quick, and we'll make it look pretty freaking nice for you guys. Go like this. Nope. We're messing it up. It's broken. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright. Like this. And I think once you're done, guys, you can delete the actual block above it. So I'm not really worried about that. We can uh, easily work and uh, fiddle with it. And then you can go like this. No! We're almost done. 
and look at that. That's freaking awesome. That's really cool for wall designs. Like I said previously, so for the corners of your house, you can make the, the side downstairs. Gives it more uh, decoration, things like that. And let's see what other things that are in the world that we haven't seen previously. Right here, we have villagers. Um, they were already in the update, but now there's baby villagers. Unfortunately, I don't want to really wait for them to make babies. But that's a thing now, they have babies. Maybe if we can go to the village over there, there may be some bil uh, villagers. Let's go ahead and switch over, and let's see, we have redstone lamps. Really awesome and excited for this. Like I said, everything that's pretty much in the update, I'm kind of excited for it. There's so many things and so many ideas that I have planned. Um, I just don't know where to start. Anyway, that's that. They're really cool for fountain designs. And let's see what else. I think that's pretty much everything that's in the uh, actual buildable um, update. Not a whole lot, but like I said, it's better than nothing, and I'm really excited. I think that maybe uh, once these slots get filled up, they're going to release like a, a scrolling up and down menu. Um, you probably use the right analog stick to scroll up or down, so I'm pretty sure that's how to go. Um, and that's pretty much that, guys. If I missed anything in it, I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the new tutorial. Uh, real quick, guys, this is really stupid of me. I recorded the whole video, and I forgot to show you guys the 3D items. That was really stupid of me, and I apologize. I'm glad that somebody brought it up for me. But anyway, that's what the 3D items look like. It's really awesome. That's so neat. <laughs> But if you guys notice, they uh, go in doubles, like, usually before the update, uh, they would just separate. But now, like, when you place them, like, they all bundle up. Does that make sense to you guys? Anyway, that's the 3D items. I apologize for not bringing it up in the video. Back Enjoy the video. I'm going to skip the main tutorial. Congratulations, you've completed it. So, now we can view it. So, that's pretty cool. Right here, you guys start off at the spawn. We already know how to play. But uh, this is pretty much where you spawn out and make your material, whatever. And it shows you the pretty much the gist of the game. And right here is the little bitty... Um, going out so right here's the first hidden chest i honestly don't know where all of them are anyway that's first of them and this is pretty much what it looks like when you first join right over there is an awesome little jungle biome go and explore that there's a pretty uh pretty farm over here this is really awesome <laughs> well let's go ahead and look in here this is the second chest right here 64 bottles and okay so you're gonna enchant some material it's pretty neat and this is, um, like a majority of this, these buildings are built with the, uh, jungle. So I think they're just trying to, uh, <laughs> show the new blocks off. We need. Let's go ahead and, let's see. These rooms don't really have anything in them. You know what, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and look at the jungle biome. I want to head over there real quick and then show you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys when I get over there. Alrighty guys, we're finally here. We're here at the little jungle biome. And let's look at it. This is so neat. Guys, I apologize. I didn't actually build a jungle sampling and place it and uh, show you guys what it looks like. You know what? That's awesome. Look at the cocoa beans right here. A little cocoa bean. I don't think it's fully grown yet, but I think once you have jungle biomes or you have your little jungle tree, they will start to spawn there. Really neat. I, th I don't think they're fully grown. Uh, we, we still get a cocoa bean out of it. That's really awesome. They're a lot easier to find than going into your mine shafts, things like that. This jungle biome is just freaking massive. This is so awesome. And even the blacks look different for the actual jungle tree itself. That's really neat. That's awesome, and that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, if you guys look forward, like I said previously, to the next week's episodes of my Minecraft Let's Play that is uploaded Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Central Time Zone. Uh, you guys probably already know this, um, but hopefully by then the texture packs, I'll be using them, and you guys can... Uh you know, view the world with the texture pack. So I'm really excited for that. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Maybe if you do, uh, drop a like, maybe subscribe, all those amazing things. Tell your friends, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is Jewish Real Sykes. I will talk to you guys.